Jack Gorgi, Executive Director of American Friends of Yeshiva Benai Akiva, joins us on Liftoff to shed some light on how we can help in the war in Israel. Prior to joining AFYBA, Jack spent 12 years as Executive Director of Jewish Institutions in both schools for children with special needs and in adult day programs. Jack, Thanks for joining us on Liftoff. Thank you so much for having me on your show, Jeannie. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. So tell us about the, your role and all about the AFYBA. Sure. So AFYBA is an uh, institution with 70 schools throughout the Israel. Um, we have over 25,000 25, students that attend these schools, high school students, boys and girls. And... Um, the schools are, are really meant for students to get the best possible education and for them to be the future leaders of Israel. And that's what our goal is for them. Um, a lot of the students live in Israel. They're Israeli students, but also a lot come from different countries, from the United States. We have people that come from Europe. Um, we even have a school for Ethiopians, specifically for the Ethiopian population. And uh, Ukraine, Russia, I can go on and on. But all these, all these students have one goal in mind, is to get the best possible education and to be really the best person they can be. And we we'll hope to have the future leaders of Israel from one of our schools. It's such an important topic, especially right now. In the current state of Israel at war, I understand you're really working to assist. Tell us about what you're doing to raise both awareness, funds, and support. Yes, thanks for asking. Um, so we, we right now... So first of all, the schools in, in themselves really have done a, a total 180. We've been focusing on Israel, the economy, um, what we could do to help Israel out, what we could do to help out the families that were displaced from the war. We need support from funders here in the United States. And one of my primary goals is to raise awareness to these funders and anybody really who could help us out. And... Uh, be able to give to this institution so that we can continue to help out uh, the military and the families. And with a global student population and, and you driving awareness and driving support, what really makes the AFYBA school like very different and unique from anything else? Yeah, so I'll say a couple of things. One is that we have 70 schools. So that's pretty unique that we have 70 schools on there throughout the, the state of Israel, from north down to south. Um, they're very specialized schools. Some of the schools are, uh, we have music schools, we have environmental schools, we have art schools. We have schools really for everybody. We have schools that are primarily for Israelis speaking Hebrew, but those that are coming from different countries are able now to speak in their own languages within the classrooms that we've set up for them. So we're very unique in that way. And now for the war more so. We really have undergone a mission of doing everything we can. Our students right now are helping by going out to the farmlands to help out because all the farmers have been, you know, have left the farmlands down south, what was, which was, you know, really devastated um, over the last couple of months. And so we're, we're now there to help them out. Our students, instead of going to classrooms, are going to these farmlands to help with the vegetation. So it's really an amazing thing of what our students do and what we do in our schools and our institutions. And again, any support we could get would really be appreciated. Well, Jack, thanks for all the work that you're doing to help create future leaders. And thanks for all the work you're doing to drive awareness. We really appreciate you being on this. Thank you so much for having me on. Okay, everybody. After all of that, let's switch gears a little bit and talk about health. Our health. We've got a fascinating set of facts about functional health and more when we come back. <laughs> 